a usual trading session takes about 6 hours. And in those 6 hours we make from 6 to 15 trades, carefully analyzing everything. Keeping an eye on the news and keeping our fingers on the volatility of all the markets we're trading. But sometimes 6 hours is enough only for a few trades. And of course, it depends on the factors listed above particularly on what's going on in the news that day. We can rate news according to what effect they have on a market. One star stands for minor effect, two for major and three for extremely major. And to turn a good profit, avoid losses and keep it smooth, we must understand when a market is not affected by news. A quick reminder, we post all our trades with our results market and news analysis as well as our social trading materials on our Telegram channel, so don't forget to check it out and subscribe. That being said, let's take a look at one of our short trading sessions when we used all we know to make a profit, carefully avoiding any dangerous situations. This AUDCAD is per usual trading in a downtrend. The price is first moving down, then reaches its low and then climbs back up to the resistance. A long shadow tells us that the resistance held, so the price should continue moving in a downtrend. MAGD indicates the same thing. Sell volumes starting to outpace and push buy volumes. And based on that, we opt for a 10-minute put option and wait to see the result. And as a result, we enjoy a very decent profit. We also notice how some news are starting to hit Euro, with a volatility soon to follow. After a quick break, we move on to the next trade. This time we're trading CHF, JPY and if you think that I just got a 10 minute put in a market trading in an uptrend, you're incorrect. And here's why. If we zoom out, we see that the price is actually going down. So, when the market meets resistance, the bears should take the upper hand and direct the price downwards, towards a low. Or at least, they should have. In fact, they did in the beginning, just look at this long shadow that formed. But then, some news hit, and the market became volatile. Instead of going down, the price skyrocketed, resulting in a loss for us. We felt it necessary to take another break to wait the storm out. After the break, we head on to the market again, looking for a safe entry point and not forgetting about our risk and money management rules. That is, we double our next trade value to mitigate the loss and make a profit. And here is just a perfect entry point for that. The market still trading in a downtrend with the price going down. It reaches a low and goes back up to the resistance. But the level won't break, even at a second attempt. Meanwhile, sell values are starting to grow, indicated by our MAGD. Because of this, the price should keep moving with the trend and we opt for a 10 minute put. This last trade results in a very decent profit, but again, we start seeing increasing volatility so we decide to take yet another break. Having watched the markets during the break, I decide not to risk it and end my session for the day, not to lose what I made. Remember, choose quality over quantity. What you're looking for is a higher account balance at the end of the day, not more trades made. And don't forget to follow those simple trading rules and use the instruments we've shown in this video. If you need any help or just want to know more about trading, go check our Telegram channel. And as always, stay safe and be in touch.